And finally, we have a tier 6 premium British light tank. It's a small vehicle. It was meant to be produced from 1943 to 1945, along with the Stuart and later Chafees as a reconnaissance tank, but only a wooden prototype was built. So it was changed for the FE300 program. What the hell is that? Is it the, the foxes and the cars? Don't remember, but it's a small tank. Yep, it's very small, but it's cute in a way, like a chafee. So it's actually a premium. So we've been looking at tier 9 special tanks for a long time that I forget how to look at a premium anymore, but has a 77 millimeter. 105 millimeters of pin, garbage accuracy of 0.45, 1.9 seconds of aim time, it's rapid firing, <laughs> has 370 meters of U-range, no armor whatsoever, okay, weighs about 17 tons, oof, 350 horsepower engine, and only 450 radio range, for a light tank, that's garbage. Crew of four fits with most fits with the Crusader. I don't know the high tiers have like three crews, especially on the Manticore, but okay. So firepower wise, it's a 77, 105 millimeters of pen. The gold shell is 138, likely APCR. Reloads every three seconds. Turns pretty quick. Nine degrees of gun depression. Garbage ass accuracy, DPM is not bad, about 2000. Okay, I mean, it's it's only 100 millimeters of pen, so you have to get to the rear of vehicles or side of vehicles, but no armor whatsoever. Don't even look at the. <laughs> don't even look at the. Yeah, it's green. It's super green. Father, do you smoke? But it has about 22 horsepower per ton ratio. Weighs about 16 tons, top speed of 60, reverse of 20, turns very quickly for a light tank, so it's a light tank. But I don't feel that horsepower per ton ratio is fast enough compared to cars or something, but it's at tier 6. Concealment is not good. It doesn't have camo compared to some of the higher tier mediums. You'll get spotted. And 370 meters of your range. Radio range is garbage. You're a light tank, you're supposed to scout and convey the info with radio. Huh. But comparing this to the Type 64, which is the only other tier 9 premium light tank other than the special T50-2, which is a gift. Less pen, less alpha, less DPM, less gun depression. Turns a lot faster for the gun though. Huh. Oh. Same armor-ish. 31 is the same as 25. Same with 35 is the same as 25. You, you'll you get pinned, no, no matter. But Type 64 goes a lot faster. Uh, about the same horsepower per turn ratio. Alright. Uh, okay. Top speed of... Yeah, that's... I mean, it's... The more you get close to like 70, 80, 90 kilometers per hour top speed, the less likely they're going to hit you. So that's why cars are so annoying. But Hall Traverse was less than the Type 64. Camo is not on par with other light tanks. What the hell? Other light tanks have about 16 camo. This thing has only like 8 or 9. It's like half. Why do you have such garbagey camo? Also, it doesn't have as good view range as the unnerf Type 64. So Type 64 got uh, escaped from the nerf bat for all the light tanks. So that's that's why it's still pretty decent. And radio is garbage. Garbage radio, garbage radio, garbage radio. Garbage radio. Garbage radio. What? Oh, standard. Duh. Top configuration. What the hell am I doing? Top configurations. Better radio, better radio, better radio, better radio, better radio. Yeah, only other than the Crusader, where the Crusader is actually a medium tank, and the, the Beetle Bug. It has garbage radio. Why even play this thing? <laughs> Just, if you have the same money, buy the Type 64, right? Makes more sense. Well, 
Is the Type 64 like special now? I have no idea. Can you just normally buy it? Let's see, Tech Tree, Type 64. If it's available, then it, I think it's available. You can just buy buy it. I, just buy the Type 64. <laughs> wow, British light tanks suck. Even as premiums, they suck. Uh, I mean, view range is average. Mobility is also average. I mean, horsepower per time ratio is average across the board. Yeah, slightly below average, but the gun's not accurate. Zero point. Yeah, the gun's the worst accuracy amongst tier six lights. And penetration is also not great. What's what's the catch? What's what's the what's the openness? Where's the where's the penis of this thing? Radio sucks. <laughs> I don't know, folks. I mean, just buy the Type 64. There's the A46. It's just a small dessert. So, yeah, it's uh, it's not that great. <laughs> so I will probably give this like a five out of ten. I mean, it's not bad, but it just underperforms compared to its uh, colleagues at Tier Six in terms of light tanks, but. There you go, folks. All the hidden vehicles added in this patch. So obviously, it's mostly tier nines, it with the the, the OPS uh, concept one B. So uh, yeah, concept one B is just fucking insane. <laughs> Excuse my language, but goddamn, it's oh my lord, what the hell is it? It's I mean, compare this to the AE phase one. It's so much better than the AE phase one. It has side armor. It's a lot faster. <sighs> Better turret front too. Oh my lord. What's the oh the Chrysler not the Chrysler the STRVK which is a heavy tank. So yeah, stuff like the STRVK is not as exciting. K91-2 is okay, but it's just a four mounted turret. STRVK is a centurion turret on top of a crown bucket. So these two are just like the half-assed designs, but the concept 1B is just fucking broken. 20 horsepower per turn ratio, 45 kilometers per hour top speed with armor, with side armor, with a decent gun and DPM. Jesus. <laughs> and view range too. I mean, it's not like a 380 meters view range garbage view range thing. Is the radio suck? No, the radio's okay. Radio's average. I mean, standard. This thing is broken, man. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. It's been a long one since there were four vehicles. We had to cover all four, but I'll put the timestamps in the description below. You can come back to the video if you feel bored after a while, but just leave me on in the background while you're playing the actual game or something. I don't know. But yeah, if you have to choose out of all these tier 9 special reward tanks, I would probably go for... Uh, let's put all the tier 9 special tanks on, just for funsies. Uh, it's a heavy. There it is, one. There is two. And the AE phase one. Forgot. We already have this. It's technically so 2019. <laughs> but you can get it again this year if you haven't gotten it last year. But you will miss the chance to get the mediums like the, the Char Future 4. Or the 77 version number 2. But here are all... Let's just remove the A46. Just, no. <laughs> so here are all the reward tier 9. Potential tier 9 as well. But I will give this thing a 7.5. 8-ish. No, 7.5. Only because of DPM. This thing is 9.5. It's fucking good. This thing is a 7. It's just mediocre, medium... I mean, it's still decent, but comparing this to a Centurion, I would actually prefer to play the Centurion. Yeah, I would probably prefer to play the Centurion. Or even the Patton, the M46 Patton. This thing is uh, debatable. Uh, we haven't talked about this thing for a long time, but it's a frontline reward, so it's technically different than the Concept 1B, but... It, it's fucking Russian, so don't even think about penetrating the upper plane. <laughs> Cupola is the only weak spot, but it's very small, so it's still a weak spot, but 
Jesus, that's a small cupola. But yeah, the upper plate is just uh, no. <laughs> no, don't shoot the upper plate. Side armor? Uh, it's 115, so unless you ridiculously side scrape, you can. You can, yeah, side armor is good too. So it's like the 752 in a sense, but both tanks have garbage DPM. This thing has has a little bit better DPM, but not much. So I would probably give this like a eight out of ten. It's decent. It's better than more exciting than these two. And same for maybe the auto loader will be a little bit better. Maybe an eight point two five for the seven five two. But then again, the armor is great, so maybe an eight point five for the seven five two. Mostly because of the V shape hull. AE phase one is like a like a eight. Still okay, but the hull armor is suck. Char Future 4. Uh, uh it's an autoloader. It's at tier 9. Has decent penetration and decent accuracy. And gun depression is not bad for a French autoloader. But the only downside is DPM sucks. View range really sucks. Uh does have the camo. Only 23 horsepower per time ratio. Top speed of 60, no armor whatsoever, it's an autoloader, so it takes a while for the four rounds. Don't touch your face. <laughs> I already washed my hands. It's fine. Um, I don't know, 7.5 out of 10? I mean, it's mostly about the gun and the speed, but it doesn't have the speed most of the time. You will get outspotted by EBRs, and your view range suck for this thing. So you have to use Coda Optics, and Coda Optics is wasted on this thing. Might as well use Koda Optics on stuff with 400 meters view range or 420. So, 7.5 ish. It doesn't. It doesn't feel that great. And finally, for the Comp Panzer 50T, it's like a fast T54. It has penetration. It has accuracy. DPM is not bad too. I mean, it has armor too. The whole, uh, the frontal hull armor is the same as a T10 heavy tank. Turret is strong, other than the the periscope or the camera periscope thingy, Majig. Other than that, that's only weak spot. So this thing is also pretty decently fast. 18 horsepower per ton ratio, top speed of 60. This thing also weighs about 50 tons, so you can actually ram stuff. And you can bounce a few shots. It's only a medium. Side armor is garbage. Don't even think about the side armor. Side armor is ugh. So it also has view range. Not as garbagey. It also has camo too. So compare this to the Char Feature 4. Char Feature 4 gets a 7 now when I think about it. This thing gets an 8.25 or something. Wait, 8.5 uh, 8 is good. But there you go, folks. All the Tier 9 Special Tanks mostly reviewed. So if you have the chance, get this thing. This thing is broken. <laughs> this thing is really broken. It has 120mm side armor with a low profile and a very small turret that's not even penetrable most of the time unless you get super lucky or something hitting the periscopes on the commander cupola but i don't think that's the actual weak spot no this is a chieftain at tier 9 you'll fight this in tier 7s you'll fight this with vehicles like let's see what slaughter like the kv3 <laughs> right you're going to penetrate a Concept 1B with a KV-3. No. <laughs> Not even fair. I mean, you might even have a chance with a T-29 because of the turret, but the rest of these tanks are just lambs to the slaughter. Like a Black Prince? Oh my god, don't even think about it. <laughs> but there you go, folks. The hidden vehicles in patch 1.9. So thank you guys for watching this video. It's been a long one. So thank you guys for staying tuned for that long. And stay awake, but stay safe. Don't touch your face. Don't touch any other stuff outside of your house. Touch your wiener if you can. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.